All right, um, welcome back to another video, everybody. It's about dang time that we get started on the four link for the drift truck. I've been saying in the past couple of videos that, you know, we're gonna get started next video, next video, next video. I got busy with some other things, but today we are actually starting on the four link for the drift truck. Actually, speaking of being busy doing other things, Pasha finally got his go-kart Miata painted. So the cage is done, it's painted. It's finally ready to be assembled. And it looks so good. It looks so good. So go check out Pasha's channel for videos on the go-kart. It's just Pasha, just Pasha, not just Pasha. It's just Pasha. But yeah, I spent a bunch of time painting that this last weekend, which is why this thing was delayed, but it did turn out really good. Um, today, we aren't actually doing the four link. We're gonna be doing the frame notch. So let me go ahead and explain kind of what a four link is, how it's different from the current suspension setup and what we have to do in order to fabricate it. So here is the rear of the truck without the bed. This is the rear axle. Currently it is a leaf spring setup. So the spring is this giant bar here. Um, and then there are shocks that connect there to there. The problem with the leaf spring is that it has these shackles which actually pivot and it allows the entire axle to move forward and backward and flex left and right. It's not a great suspension for keeping the axle where you want it. That's why when drifting, it gets wheel hop because the axle pulls forward and back and forward and back and it causes everything to shake and it's really terrible. Leaf springs are great, they're cheap. They're really good for, you know, cheap off-roading or just, you know, a street car, but for track driving, <laughs> what a four link does, instead of having this flexible bar that connects the axle. There are solid bars, one on top and one on bottom on each side that connect the axle to the frame. What we are gonna be building is actually called a four link ladder bar suspension parallel. So there's gonna be two going forward on each side and then there's gonna be one crisscrossing on each side. So that will make it so the axle can literally only go up and down. In order to actually hold the axle off the ground, we have to add coilovers. So we weld a mount to the axle and then we make a new strut tower and put coilovers in. Kind of similar to what we did on the rear, but much easier because we have this frame. It's really empty. That's essentially a four link. They're actually really, really basic. They're really, really easy to make, which is why we're doing it. It's not necessarily as good as like a Watts link or any, you know, crazy rear suspension for a solid axle like that, but it's going to be plenty good for what we have. Miles, miles better than the the leaf springs. Um, we're gonna have coilovers, we're gonna be able to dress tight, we're gonna be able to dress, you know, dampening. It's gonna be great. Now, in order to do the four link, we have to notch the frame. That's what we're gonna be doing today. As you can tell, the axle is really, really close to the frame. So if we hit a really big bump or have really high G's or we wanna lower it more, the axle is gonna hit the frame and that's gonna break the axle. So what we're gonna do is we're literally just going to cut a little section out of the frame that will allow the axle to go up higher. When we do that, we have to reinforce the frame because obviously we're cutting out material. So we're gonna weld a new piece on top of it. Um, that's pretty much it. That is a four link. That's what we're gonna be doing over the next couple of videos on the truck. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna do everything right. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be permanent. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Angle grinder, here we come. I can already tell it's gonna be a long day. It's really warm outside and dude, just cutting and grinding. Metal dust is getting all over you. It's painful, it's dirty, and you're so sweaty that all the little metal shards just stick to you. Ugh. It's miserable, but at the same time, it's really satisfying because I know I'm working really hard and that's a good feeling. I didn't need to cut off the old shock mounts, but my goal is to get this frame as clean, as simple as I possibly can. So in the future, if I'm ever working on stuff, if I ever need to add more bars or something, I don't have to cut anything off. It's just nice and clean. It's all there. is 
ready for the actual plate to go on and be welded on. This right here is the metal that we are using. The inside diameter of this, or the inside dimensions of this, will perfectly slip over that axle. So I made a little template. As you can see, that perfectly follows the shape of the frame. And this top here is level with the ground. So I'm going to go ahead, cut this out, have the open bottom, slide this over the frame, and then weld it on. And then cut a little notch on the bottom, weld that closed, weld the ends, and pretty much that's it. did I use one or two I used three cutting wheels and I'm not even done with the one first piece god damn it uh, right there is exactly where we want it all I'm gonna do is put the wheels back on Drop it down and make sure the top is perfectly level this way and this way. Lock off the ends, weld that on, then weld the entire seam on each side, and then cut out the notch, and then put a plate inside the frame so no water can get on the inside of the frame, and so it's not open, so it's nice and strong. I'm really, really disgusting. I'm gonna call it there for today. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go swimming. It's gonna feel so satisfying jumping into a pool. Probably not at all. Not very courteous, because I'm going to get the pool so freaking dirty, but it's going to feel so good. I'm really excited. Before we continue, I actually got all the four link stuff in today, so I kind of want to show you that. It's really cool and it's really exciting. I'm just, I'm so excited to put this together. So, we have all the brackets. This is pretty much like a DIY kit, so it comes with all the metal pre-cut and everything. You just kind of have to weld it together. Um, I could definitely make all this stuff myself, but you know this is this is all just this is all cut on a plasma table, so it's just so much more accurate. And I think for my first time doing a four link, it's better. But yeah, look at these bars, these nice heim joints. It's gonna be awesome. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and finish this frame notch. Notches, and that's what I'm gonna call them. The notches have the caps welded on and the, the caps are welded 
to the frame. It's still not welded to the frame itself. I don't want to do that yet because something might happen. I might have to take them off, which would suck. But I did weld that on, so when I cut the frame, I don't have to worry about uh, any sort of warping because that would be bad. But yeah, that is the next step to cut the frame. So I think I'll cut out two to three inches. We'll see, we'll see. That looks really awesome. Everything is all welded in. The notch, I hope that's enough. It, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna go ahead and weld this seam in. So the other side notch is done as well. I've got this fan blowing onto the metal so I can weld it more frequently. Um, this side is completely welded up. I'll go ahead and say this now because I'm not doing anything else. I really love fabrication. It's so fun and it's so rewarding. Ever since I was a little kid, I've loved building things and creating things with my, my own two hands. I used to, I was obsessed with Legos and Canucks, Canucks, I think is what they were called little plastic things you clip together. After that, I got into a phase of making bow and arrows and like decorating, ugh. I've always really loved building stuff and I guess this is the, the new phase of my building hobby. Point is, is I really, really love it and it's so rewarding. That is that. This uh, frame has been notched. Nice and uh, beefy. No contact anywhere, woo! I could technically put the bed back on and go drive it, but um, obviously the whole point of this is to do the four links so we don't have wheel hop. But damn, does this look awesome. I love it. That should be plenty of room, because um, I mean, I don't think I'll ever go more than an inch lower and it'll be a stiffer suspension. So there, there's quite a bit of room. Yeah, that's it guys. I just want to say that I've I've thought of the complete design that I'm gonna do for the four link and it's gonna look so cool. Um, one really cool thing is that we're gonna have to cut a big section out of the bed in order to fit all the stuff because the bottom of the bed is level with the frame back here. So all of this we'll have to cut out. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. I'm pretty happy with it. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you didn't, please give it a dislike and I'll see you guys next time. So peace out and goodbye.